Hello friends, welcome back to Graceful Living and welcome to all of you that are new here today. My name is Dina and I am so grateful you decided to stop by. Today's video is a collaboration with four other amazing YouTube friends. The first one I want to mention is Darlene at Super 60. You may recognize her from a previous collaboration we did last spring. She is such a sweet friend with a growing channel Channel where she loves to create new recipes to share with each of you and I am so grateful she asked me to be a part of this amazing collaboration. Now next in line is Noreen from Noreen's Kitchen. She loves creating real food for real people. Sharing easy and delicious recipes is definitely what her channel is all about. And I will be leaving a link to each of their channels down below in my description box so you can head over and see for yourself just how wonderful these channels are. Now as you can see already they put together some pretty delicious looking recipes to share with each of you now up next is Leslie from the farmer's pastor's wife and once again she shares such amazing recipes her channel is centered around southern country cooking on the farm all while living a blessed life and being a pastor's wife now i have already taken the liberty to visit each channel and i know i will be heading back to dive in and see what else they have to offer because so far it looks so delicious and last but certainly not least is Miss Gay, another amazingly sweet lady that brings you into her kitchen to share the most wonderful recipes. And what is even more exciting is each of these ladies share their love of the Lord as well. So that makes this collaboration even more exciting to be a part of. Now, each of us is going to be sharing a fun and easy dessert you might consider making for an upcoming spring event or even an Easter celebration. So I hope you will take a moment to visit each and every channel to see what they have in store. All right, as you can see, I had all my ingredients measured and laid out for us so we can work through this recipe nice and easy. Now today, I'm going to be sharing with you an easy way to create a beautiful, bright, and delicious spring dessert. Now to start off with, we are going to make a super simple sugar cookie recipe. Now I will be sure to have the recipe for you in the description box below, so make sure to check that out for all the measurements and steps. But for now, let's go ahead and get started with the cookie. Now, the first step I'm going to take is I'm going to cream my butter and sugar. I'll mix that together and get it to the right consistency and then begin adding in the other ingredients. Besides this one egg, the recipe also calls for sour cream and of course, a little drizzle of vanilla. Now, I absolutely love the hint of tanginess that the sour cream offers the cookie, especially after it's all topped off with some sweet cream cheese frosting and of course, delicious fruit. I know you will not only love the taste of this cookie, but the look of it as well. 
Plus, it's super easy to make and you can also create a nice cookie bar for little ones where they can create their very own masterpieces all on their own. So besides being absolutely delicious, it could be such a fun cookie to make as well. Now that I have all the wet ingredients incorporated, I'm going to mix the dry together and mix half of that in at a time. Now, if we were going to roll these out and cut them into different shapes, we would definitely want to divide the dough into fourths and place it into the fridge to cool and firm up. But we are taking the easy route today and we'll be scooping and pressing the cookie out, which makes this dessert even easier to create. Now that the cookie dough is all done and smells absolutely delicious, we can begin the scooping process. Now, scooping these cookies out onto a cookie sheet, I did align mine with parchment paper for easy cleanup. I try to keep it as easy as I can. And once they are scooped out, I can grab a cup or my husband's milk frothing pitcher to press them down with. And then we will pop them into the freezer for about 10 minutes just to ensure that the dough doesn't spread out when it hits the heat of the oven. Okay, now moving on to the frosting. This frosting pairs so well with these cookies, it's unbelievable. And for those of you that know me, you know I usually don't measure my powdered sugar, but surprise, I did. So I have one stick of butter and one block of cream cheese to start. And once I get that cream together, I will add four cups of powdered sugar to the mixture. And then I will add in a heavy splash of vanilla and a drizzle of milk. Sorry, I didn't measure those. It's just kind of a texture thing. And of course, how much vanilla you want to incorporate into your own frosting.
Once the oven is preheated to 375 degrees, we can begin to bake the cookies off. Now here again, the time is going to be different for each and every oven, and of course, the thickness of your own cookies. The recipe does state seven to 10 minutes, but I think mine may have taken more like 13 to be done to my liking. Now they ended up with a beautiful golden bottom and nice edges as well. Once they are completely cold, you can begin frosting them and adding on the fruits of your choice. Now I chose to use kiwi, strawberries, mandarins, blueberries, blackberries, and some mint as well. And to be completely honest, I told Ronnie this might be my new favorite dessert. The light tangy taste of the cookie paired with that amazing frosting is one thing, but adding the different fruits and even that sprig of mint sent it all over the edge. Plus, these cookies are just gorgeous to look at. I love the elegance of the frosting and the fruit, coupled with the rough edges of the cookie. It's just the perfect little dessert. When Darlene first reached out to me about this collaboration, I was thrilled to be a part, but not just because of the delicious desserts I knew we would be making, but because I knew this group of ladies is using this platform not only to share of their beautiful talents, but also of their love for our amazing Savior. Now, I remember back to the day that I uploaded my very first video. It's been a little over a year and a half now, and I remember holding my finger over that upload button and I stopped to pray. I wanted the Lord to help me use this platform for his good. I want his goodness and grace to always far outshine anything else I do here on YouTube because he truly deserves all of the glory. And I know all of you love him just as much as I do. You have been so incredibly receptive to everything that I have shared, and I am so grateful for that. And I know these other ladies do as well. We have 
quite the community here, a family, if you will. So we've all been brought together through his love. And I, for one, think that is such an amazing thing. So please don't forget to go visit each of their channels. I know that they would absolutely love to hear from you. And if you have made your way over to my channel from one of theirs, I welcome you with open arms. I'm so grateful that you decided to stop by. I would love to hear from you down in the comments below so I can say hello. And I do upload every Tuesday morning, 5 a.m. Pacific Standard Time. My channel is more of a decorating channel, but I do do some cooking every now and then because I absolutely love to cook for my family and friends. So I hope that you will maybe consider becoming a part of our little graceful living family by simply hitting that little red subscribe button down below. But for now, I am going to wish you all a wonderful rest of your week. Remember to stay safe, be blessed, and I will see you in the next one. Goodbye, everyone.